Have you heard of berberine for lowering blood sugar? This compound is said to be as effective or even more effective at lowering blood sugar than some medications. But does it really work? Stay tuned and let's find out. everybody, Erin here with Healthy Mom Happy Family and I am so excited that you are joining me today because I wanted to talk about berberine because I have been getting a lot of questions about this from people with type 2 diabetes and insulin resistance and they are wondering if this actually can improve blood sugar levels as much or even more so than some medications. So we are going to look at everything berberine today and dig into the science and find out. But before we get started, I just wanna remind you that if you are looking for tips and tricks on managing type two diabetes and reversing insulin resistance, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new video. So if you're wondering what the heck berberine is, um, definitely that's a question a lot of people have, but this is a compound that's found in plants and you find it in some plants like Oregon grapes and even in golden seal. And it's been used for centuries in Chinese medicine, but recently it's been getting a lot of attention because it has the potential to help regulate blood sugar levels. Um, some people swear it even improves their blood sugar levels as much or more than medications. So I really wanted to look at the science behind it with you today to understand more about how it works and if it's something that is worth talking with your healthcare professional team about to see if it's right for you. Okay, so you're probably wondering how does berberine work and how does it help lower blood sugar? So one of the things it does in the body is it activates an enzyme called AMPK. Now this enzyme is responsible for helping to regulate our metabolism and blood sugar. Now that isn't the only benefit though. Another thing that it appears to do is improve insulin sensitivity of our cells and it also seems to help to slow the absorption of sugar from the gut. So those things all together really show why it might be so beneficial at improving overall blood sugar levels. All right, so let's look at some of the health benefits of berberine. Now I mentioned, of course, the benefit on reducing blood sugar level, but there's also some research that indicates that this compound might be protective to the heart. It might help to lower inflammation as well as cholesterol levels and even promote a healthy body weight. So there is a lot of promising research about this compound and the link it can have on promoting improved health. Now with berberine, you'll typically find it in a supplement form. So it can come as a capsule or a tablet or a powder. And usually it would be recommended that you take it about 30 minutes before a meal because that's gonna provide the best benefit at helping to reduce your blood sugar levels after the meal. But the thing is, there's no actual established guidelines for berberine at this point. There's not an established dosage. So you really have to talk to your physician and your diabetes care team to see if this is right for you, to really figure out what's the right dosage, because there can be some downsides to taking this too, and we'll talk about them in a minute, but you really have to make sure that you're taking the right dosage for you and your blood sugar goals. Now, one of the reasons I mentioned the downside is that a compound like berberine that lowers blood sugar is great, but there is always the risk of blood sugar going too low. And if you are taking medication already that lowers blood sugar, or you're at risk of hypoglycemia, this can potentially be a big concern because blood sugar going too low can have some dangerous health implications. So before ever taking any supplement, but especially this one, make sure you talk with your physician, make sure you talk with your dietitian and see if it's right for you, and then work with that team to really determine what's the right dosing for you. So the bottom line on berberine is it is really exciting. There is a lot of research to suggest that this can potentially have a great impact on reducing blood sugar levels. And it does seem to be tolerated by many people, but just like any supplement, it's not always regulated. So you have to make sure that if you are taking a supplement, you're getting it from a very high quality source and you have to make sure it's right for you, especially if you're taking other medications that are lowering blood sugar. So I would not recommend just taking this. I would recommend talking about it with your physician, with your dietitian, with your diabetes care team, because it might be a beneficial component to your diabetes care, but it's not gonna be appropriate for everybody. So definitely have that conversation and see if it's right for you. 
And I want to hear from you. Have you heard of berberine? Have you tried it? I want to know in the comments, especially if you've tried it, I want to know what kind of results you're seeing. And if you like today's video, make sure to subscribe so you never miss new tips, tricks, and recipes. Thanks for joining me.